everybody, it's Dr. Lori. Welcome to Ask Dr. Lori Live. I'm Dr. Lori, the PhD Antiques Appraiser. My guests are here. Everything's unscripted. I don't know what objects are coming. So it's good to see all of you. We're gonna see what you've got all over the world. That's right. Don't forget, of course, to check out drlorivee.com. We've well, got some jewelry, kind of looks like it's brass with some green. Somebody's got a cam. Somebody's got a TV on with me yelling back at it. So if you can turn that off, that would help. It looks like a ceramic piece with a hole. Thank you for turning that down. And then that's a dancing bear with a tea with a coffee cup. What is that? It's a cat. It's a cat with an accordion with a cup. Well, the turn reason it. why I Let's brought it, it on, it. I don't even know what it is. Oh my gosh, I'm on. Here we well, go. Come on, turn it. Let's see. I don't know if I'm picking it yet. <laughs> well, that is odd. Okay, let's see. Go back to the mash, see what else we've got. So then we've got this ceramic piece that looks like it's got a hole in the middle of it, kind of a bird bathy thing. Okay. And that's, is there a mark on the bottom of that? There's an engraving that it says like Holland or something. I don't know if it's a name. Or okay. what? Okay, that's two I'm not impressed with. And then there's <laughs> big green glass piece. Let's talk about big green glass. What's this? You guys are not making your case very well. This is oh. a vase. Hi, honey. You go Hi, ahead. I'm Lori from um, Athens, Alabama. Hi, Lori. Well, I'm definitely picking Lori from Athens, Alabama. <laughs> Am I not picking Lori from Athens, Alabama? I might come back to the rest of you. Don't get upset. But Oh my gosh, I'm Lori from Athens, Alabama. Could you be any sweeter? Oh my gosh. <laughs> How are things in Athens? What? How are things in Athens, oh, Alabama? Oh, we're great in Athens, and I'm just thrilled that you picked me. Thrilled, thrilled, thrilled. <laughs> well, I'm happy that you're watching me, so I'm thrilled, thrilled, thrilled by that. You guys are putting in the information about the scarf. Tell me if you like the scarf. My producer thinks it's a little frou-frou. If you don't like it, I want to hear that. I don't care. I won't be offended. And then the other thing is the hair, because I could not deal with it anymore, and I put it all back. So if it looks terrible, just put hair, colon, terrible, scarf, colon, gray. I don't care. Just tell me, because I need a little bit of stylist help now. Uh, today was a long day. I was at Costco. You know Costco? Oh, my gosh. 25,000 things of, of toothpaste and you can't pick because none of them are really what you want, but you're going to get a, a 25 pack. And so you better like it, right? That's right. <laughs> anyway, That's Lori, right. tell me about your piece. I found this at a thrift store. I paid a, little, a lot more than I normally do. I paid 22 for it because oh. I thought it was something like you would tell me I need to get. <laughs> okay. So you've been watching my video. You've been watching my videos of, of this is what you buy at the thrift yeah. store. These are the right. real bargains. This is worth money. I think for $22, you did great. So we got to look a little bit farther into it. I like the color. I like the Mila Fior. I like the, the green. I actually like the fact that the green, you know, is translucent. You can see through it. I like, I'm not crazy about the little sort of, um, white sort of swirly things. Right. Yeah, I'm not yeah. crazy about that. But I have to say that I do think it's a pretty nice piece. I think it's nice quality. Can you show it to me this way so I can see the circle like down it? That's what I, oh, I like that a lot. I like that a lot because that piece, you could put something in it or you could just use it as a main centerpiece. I probably would just put it as a main centerpiece. You know, I probably wouldn't put anything in it for the bowl itself. Can I see the underside? And it's nice and smooth on the underside. That piece is a winner. $22 at the thrift store. Is that what you yeah. said? Uh -huh. That's really good. That's really good. So okay. when it was at the thrift store, what happened? Like you saw it and you said, oh my gosh, I better buy that. Dr. Lori, does my little face come up in like a light bulb above your head? <laughs> exactly. I was, <laughs> I walked past it and didn't see it was interested in the art and um, paintings and what I could find. And then I just happened past it again. And I was like, wow, there it is. <laughs> Dr. I was like, Lori. I was like, Dr. Lori's going to like this. Oh, I'm not supposed to have that near my microphone. Uh, Dr. Lori's going to like this. Yes, I like that a lot. I like the size of it too. You know, size matters. I like the fact that I like the colors, you know, color sells glass. Blondes typically will go toward green. I've done this for almost, you know, 25 years. So it's not like I just, you know, come up with this stuff. This is 25 years in right? Of, of, of me knowing what people like, what they'll buy and how I can help you to succeed. That piece 
is in the Murano style. I don't think it's Venetian glass. I think it's probably made in the United States, trying to look like Italian glass. I think it dates to probably the 1970s or 80s because of its size. And I would say value on that piece easily, easily $200 every wow. day, all day. So you wow. got it. At a, yeah, you did very well on that. I like that I a lot. That's my 10% almost. So <laughs> that's what I like. That's where I want you to be, you know, right. because it is easy. Now, this, the harder part, of course, is listing, reselling and such, but maybe you're going to keep it for yourself. The other thing you have to remember is fragility, that it's fragile. Okay. So that's what I, what I like you to see. Thank you for the honesty, Rita. I appreciate it. You don't have to like everything I do. So I, I like that particular piece a lot. The other thing I would say is um, in terms of it, uh, it's very clear. So it doesn't look like they put anything in it. You know, like they put water in things and then right. you get that, that cloudy. So that really that's looks that pretty thing. nice. Yeah, I like that for $22. Did you try to negotiate or no? No, I did. And they were like, no, you know, and I, oh. I could try. Yeah. They were, they were, they were being kind of New York about it. No, <laughs> right? right. They weren't being uh, Alabama. They about like it. to say, I don't have the authority to do that. So that's okay. All right. All right. We'll let, well, okay. That's fine. $22. You're happy anyway. Retail value based on actual sales records where something similar has sold and people go, Oh, that's how she appraises it. Yeah. It's a comp right? Like in real estate, it's a comparable sales record. So these people who don't understand that, you know, the trolls who are saying she's wrong in her values. I'm not wrong because somebody paid that bill. Somebody paid that amount. That's it. Where's uh, a good now, place to sell this type Good of place to sell that. I like places like, I like Etsy. I like eBay. I like Ruby Lane. I like Tradesies. I like, what else do I like for that? I like Cherish for that. A lot of reselling tips. And I'm just giving you some of the places that I like. Okay. And I like them for this reason. You could say, well, I hate eBay. eBay is terrible. That's fine. You may have had bad experiences with one or many of these, but I like you to look and, and understand where the market will bear. And it's not only one of these places. You can't just go, I'm going to list it in one place. Estate auctions would easily find $200 for it too. A local estate auction might do that. So you might want to look at that type of thing. Um, don't poo-poo it and just say there's only one place I can sell it. There's lots of places you can sell it, but you have to evaluate the entire market. And people say, oh, you know, I only look at this these one sale sold records and that's the situation. So that's basically what we're looking at. Anyway, that's nice. I've got a question of the day for you, if you'll indulge me, Lori. Um, my question of the day is, you have a smartphone, I'm guessing. Is it an Android or an iPhone? iPhone. iPhone, me too. Yeah. <laughs> and right. I'm, I'm waiting... I'm waiting to hear from the Android people because I want to learn why it was selected, right? I know why I picked my iPhone. It has a lot to do with lenses and cameras, right? Mm -hmm. Visual, because I'm That's visual. Right. Um, yeah. But that was my question. Nice to meet you, hon. You too. Thank you. Congratulations to you. Yeah, very, very nice. Not the only place that you could resell it, but I like you to understand reselling tips. The other thing you have to do is you have to, of course, highlight the piece. On my blog, on my newsletter, have you signed up for the newsletter? Subscribe to the newsletter. It's free. It comes to you. You do nothing other than sign up. It's easy at drlaurieV.com. The newsletter and on my blog, I'm telling you in, in exactly, here's what you should put in your listing. Here's what you should do. Here's some of the things that will help attract a buyer to your listing because you, you're competing with all these other people who are scrolling, 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 clicking, clicking, clicking. So you have to have something that's a little bit better than your neighbor's listing. So that's what I want you to look at as well. So, all right, all right, guests galore, what fun. Let's see what we've got. I'm gonna do this a turn, get this away from the microphone. Oh, I'm going toward the microphone. Hi, how are you? I, I like the I like the um I like the figural lamp some there are a lot of those out there pearls on a clipboard yeah why not <laughs> pearls on a clipboard then we've got a piece that's under glass which kind of looks like it might be a morning piece so there's uh I can't get to oh yeah okay all right uh and then the more the piece that piece is um oftentimes called um an, it's an embroidered piece typically. Uh, and those pieces are very desirable. They usually date to the 19th century. That one's quite nice. I'm getting some glare, um, but I would okay. say that one's quite nice. It's quite large as well. And those tend to be very valuable. I remember at an event in Akron, Ohio, I appraised one of those morning embroideries, cruel work pieces, big picture. 
in mourning the death of General George Washington, 1799. And that piece was spectacular. Uh, there are memorial pieces that oftentimes were done after the passing of a family member or such. And uh, they were very, very desirable and they had big high prices. So that'll have a big high price too. And then we've got this piece. It's got some, it's got handles and it looks like it might be a vase. Maybe it's Nippon. It might be marked on the bottom. Is that marked on the bottom? It is. It's Nippon, but it's also the BB marking, I think. Okay. All right. That's nice. And then we've got this, what I would call a wedding vase. You know, I have a very good friend named Jill. I always say Jill like that. She's yeah. from Texas. <laughs> And she is a sweet, sweet, sweetheart. And she, of course, introduced me a million years ago to Native American pieces. So that looks like a wedding, a wedding uh, vase to me. And, oh, and that's a cat's tail. <laughs> <I'm thinking. laughs> oh my gosh, what was that? You know, that was cute. Um, yeah. Is that is that blue? Is it Jasperware? Is it? Oh no, it's it's oh so huh? It's, it's blue only. It's uh, ceramic. That's nice. Uh, yeah, and it's it's signed, but I can't find anything this color and the reason I picked it up was because of this the blue color and the I color never is the color is somewhat unusual and yeah. often, oftentimes yeah. rarity and unusual pieces will increase value right yeah and for a book says, nine, I have the only yeah. one like it kind of thing you know what I mean exactly. I like yeah. that too so let's yeah. start with that Nippon piece let's go to that Nippon piece don't worry we'll see what we've got we'll see what we got Pearls on a on a clipboard, never bad. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. What's your name? Hi, Dr. Lori. I'm Nancy from Norfolk. Hey, Nancy. Nice to see you. How are things in Virginia? Very good. Nice. Good. I like this. Day. What'd you say, sweetie? Like a spring like today, fifty-eight. Uh, yeah. Degrees. Nice to have the sun. It's nice to have the sun. So this particular piece I like for a couple of reasons. First of all, I love the gilding, and I like the step up. Right. I like the step up form. So you've got sort of a yeah, I like the step up form there. I also like the very Asian, uh, very uh, geometric handles. And then you said it has a Nippon mark and the hand painting is very nice. Can you show us the hand painting of those flowers? Yes. Yeah, really nicely executed with some moriage, which is that wet slip where that little bit of beading, right, that you can see where the slip is wet as they apply it. That's really quite fine. I like that. So it's got a BB mark as well. Yeah. It, mm -hmm. Let me see if I can get it in there for and you. And what to look for. You guys are all about the mark and I'm all about the quality of the object. The mark is good. Yeah. And so it's a Nippon mark. So, you know, it's early late 19th, early 20th century. I like the bright white clay. I like the hand painting. I like the beading, which is those little tiny itsy bitsy beads with the gilt, with the gold. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what I like most about it. And I like the form. The step up form is a very Asian form and it's not particularly for the, of course, um, Western market. I want to thank you very much for the super chats and super stickers. I want to thank you for the likes. I want to thank you for the shares. All of those mean a lot, right? Every time you do it, you help me to make another video that will help you. So thank you for the support. I appreciate it. Yes, super chats and super stickers are open and I appreciate that. Um, but also sharing and also doing that. How'd you acquire this piece? I bought it at a state sale auction. An estate sale auction online? Yeah, online. Okay. In my hometown. Okay. And then you had to go pick it up? Yes. And when you got there, did you say, did anything not sell? Because I'd like to see what didn't sell. You should always do that if you're going to pick up something at an auction, reselling tip. Go and see what didn't sell because right then is when that auctioneer or that estate sale person is ready to get rid of it. They will negotiate with you then. Okay. Right. I did. And I said, can I work with you sometime? She was Great. She asked me too, but it was long story. Okay, long story. But I'm happy that you asked if there were other pieces there for it. How tall is the piece? It looks to be about nine inches. What do you mean taller. it looks to be? You don't have a measuring tape? Get a measuring tape. I, well, I think my my wingspan is about eight inches. So I, do I like taught that. you. I taught I, you. Right. You can do this too from the elbow. Right. Measure yourself because your arm is usually with you when you're shopping. Right. <laughs> Value on that piece about $95. What'd you pay? Nine. Nine. 10%. That's what I like. Based on actual sales records, porcelain, hand painted, uh, early 20th century, a little bit of gilding, no chips, no cracks, no inclusions, no abrasions. Go. I like it. My question of the day, Android or iPhone? iPhone. iPhone. I like the camera. I like the camera on the iPhone. It's sharp. I always tell people because people are sending photos, you know, to me oftentimes, and I always say, you know, 
get a good camera and and look at the can look at the picture before you send something off will you look and see if it's blurry you know <laughs> But the thing about uh, the other thing I like about the iPhone, it's quick. That camera is quick. What I mean by that is I don't have to wait too long for it to focus. It focuses pretty quickly. So nice to see you. Thanks for being with me. I want you also to remember, what do I want you to remember? Video calls, because video calls, of course, will um, assist you if you want to do a video call with me. A lot of you are saying, oh, Dr. Lori, I don't want to be on the live show. I want to just talk to you. You can book a video call through drlorev.com. Go to the specials and shop page and you can see how to book a video call. You choose the time and date in my schedule. Here's my schedule. It's open. You like this time of the day. You like that time of the day. You can pick it and go from there. So um, can you get a look at that great bar shaker on my table? Oh, the bar shaker is right here. Yes. Um, this is a nice one. This is a nice one. And um, uh, this one, of course, has uh, a nice mid-century modern feel. It has a uh, decoration that relates to the Roaring Twenties and each around the shaker actually, um, around the shaker, it actually talks uh, about how you could make individual cocktails. So it's a little didactic. It'll teach you a little bit of something if you don't know how to make some of those. Uh, but it's a nice one. It's in very good condition. People love barware. One of the things, I did a video, a bunch of videos for you about what to buy at the thrift store. And one of the things I talk about, barware, barware. So don't forget it. I have a lithograph that was glued onto a board. No, nah, too bad. It's starting to bubble off the board in a few places. Can that be fixed? Oh, Wanda, I'll tell you, this is not good news. <laughs> when it's glued down, I always say divorces are hard. If you're going to try to divorce that lithograph from that board, it's going to be difficult. So um, basically, uh, if it starts to bubble up, usually what that means is it's got some kind of temperature and humidity change. Uh, it's difficult to do that. You could try a, um, you could try a professional restorer, conservator. You can ask a framer if they have a way to do it, but oftentimes it will not be able to be divorced easily. And if it starts to rip now that it's starting to bubble, it's probably going to rip. So if it starts to bubble, it's going to probably rip. Uh, you have to be careful of that. So it's unfortunate. I'm happy to take a look at it, uh, give you some advice on it, but I don't think the news is going to be good. <laughs> You know, I tell you the truth. I, you know, it's not always good news that I got to tell you. My guests are here, though, and they're good news with all their objects. Let's see what they've got. OK, so it looks like we've got a might be a pearl gold brooch. Looks like something that could be could be Aztec. But if, can you turn it? Could be Incan, more Incan than Aztec. OK, so pre-Columbian ish. All right sculpture. We still have the pearls on the clipboard, making me a little nervous, more nervous than I was. No, it's fine. I mean, it's not bad. I just be careful because you're putting stress on it because the metal is stronger than the pearls. So how did you acquire those and how long are they? I got them at in an in-person estate sale. They're 24 inches long, graduated. It has a box clasp that is Mark Sterling. Okay, good. And I've watched all your pearl videos and I'm still confused. The holes are small. Oh, smaller. come on. The luster looks, you know, even. <laughs> it's I don't not know. that easy. I won't say it's that easy, but if you rewatch those videos, you can. Have you used the, the binge link so you see all my videos? I'm obsessed with you, Dr. Lori. Okay, well, I'm so glad you're obsessed. That I appreciate that. But I want you to binge. And here's why yes. I want you to binge. On YouTube, the binge link will help you because it organizes all these videos so you're not waiting for something to be served up or searching, searching, searching. So go, of course, to YouTube or you can go to our website at drlorev.com. Go to the specials and shop page. It's the red page right up there. And then basically what you do is you just copy that link and always go back to that link and it will update for you. Now, I'm happy that you're obsessed. I don't want you to be confused. It looks like those are a pretty nice luster, those pearls. Let's do the pearls. I'll come back to the rest okay. of you. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Let me see these pearls. Let me explain it because the teacher in me is going, she doesn't understand it. Let's explain it. What's your name, honey? My name's Candace and I'm from Mesa, Arizona. So Candace, you got this in an in-person estate sale. It's 24 inches long. It's got a sterling silver class and they are graduated. Do you recognize that they're graduated? Yes. Okay. Is the largest, that's mm -hmm. right. Is the largest of the pearls, um, mm, seven millimeters. I believe so. I haven't measured the actual mill. I don't have one of the calipers, but okay. We'll get get your cal caliper. And there's, of course, 
There are recommended products on my website, drlaurieview.com. Go to the shopping page. I get compensation when you do that. However, <laughs> um, this particular piece has a very nice and consistent luster. So what do I want you to look for? Consistent color, weight to the pearls, right? Weight. I want you also to look for consistent luster. So not very, very, very pink, then very, very beige, then very, very white is not consistent luster. I want the luster or the sheen to look the same. And I'm looking at this. I know I have educated eyes, but that luster looks the same looks, to me. Looks, looks very good, good to me. Now, the sterling silver box clasp is good, but not great. I'd rather have a 14 karat gold clasp, even if it were white gold. Okay. What did you pay for them? $15. One five? 15, yeah. One five. All right. So the clasp alone is worth about 50 before we even talk about pearls. So you already made your money back and then some. I would say that the pearls are freshwater pearls, not cultured pearls, but freshwater pearls with a consistent luster. And I would say that on a 24 inch like that, you're probably looking at 200, $250. Great. Thank you. For so 15. Much. And they'd look beautiful on your neck with your hair. Thank you so much. I'd wear, wear them in good health. They're based on actual sales records where similar pieces have sold. So any of you who are belly aching, I can't sell jewelry. If you can't sell jewelry, I don't know what's wrong because everybody is selling jewelry. They're doing very well. Ask any of my, of course, people with the testimonials. But for you, Candice, I got one more question. Android or iPhone? I have an iPhone. Do you like it? I love it. If you put everything in it, my life would be done if I lost the iPhone. I actually broke it a couple weeks ago and it Did was- Did you drop it? I, I actually fell hiking and cracked the screen on Were both sides. I was fine, I broke my pinky also. Oh my, your pinky was more important than your I iPhone. Think, <laughs> oh, yeah, it was, it was a lot of money to fix it, but I still owed a lot of money on it. I know, I know. It yeah. is expensive, I have to say that, it is expensive. Well, I'm sorry about your pinky. What did the doctor say about your pinky? I didn't go, it's fine, it's just a little oh, good. <laughs> You kids are kids. Go to the doctor. Go check. Just go check for me. Go check for me, please. I, you, you, who knows? You want your pinky to work. You know, you want your hands to work. Your hands are important. All right. I love you, doll. Thank Take you care. so much. Congratulations. Yeah, that was nice. That was nice. She should really go check, though. Her pinky. It's her pinky. You're going to need it. You know, you need it for when you have a teacup. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I'm Dr. Lori. We're having so much fun tonight looking at your art, antiques, and collectibles, answering your questions. Let me know what you think of the scarf. It's a little bit bothering me, I got to say. It's a little bit bothering me. <laughs> kind of like, I don't know. Hi, Dr. Lori. What's happening? Oh, yeah. See, I like that. I like that brooch better on that card now. It's a little bit more helpful. The morning piece I like a lot. That's a nice piece. And then there's this piece of, is this a necklace with sort of the green and the brass? Yes, it is. It's a necklace. All right. It's pretty long, which indicates it's probably somewhat has some age to it, too. How'd you acquire it? Um, I'm actually not sure. My boyfriend, I think, got it um, at his job with his craft. You're not sure how, you, how your boyfriend got it, but he might have pulled it out of the trash. Is that what you said? Yes, that's where he gets like a lot of his things. Trash is good. What's wrong with trash? I mean, you know, we've seen a lot of valuable stuff come out of the trash. Yeah. I like that. That's pretty cool. And it's always good when boyfriends are handing over gifts. I like that, too. I want to talk about that brooch, though. Can I talk about that brooch? I like Perfect. this brooch. It's pearl. It looks like pearls. It kind of reminds me. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like um, one of those big church organs. Oh, right. Yeah. Does it, does it look like that to you? It does. Now that yeah. you say that. Kind of. Um, yeah, I can recall being in a church in Belgium with one of those huge organs. It was like huge. And they were so impressed by the organ. And then they started to play. And I was in Canterbury at Canterbury Cathedral. Oh my gosh, the organ there. That was oh, amazing. Bet. Anyway, what's your name? How are you doing? So I'm Sharon. Hi, and Sharon. Where are you calling yeah. from? Maui. Maui? Yeah. Oh, Sharon, you've got I a know. piece of jewelry and now you live in Maui. Everybody's <laughs> jealous. <laughs> Come on, Sharon. It's actually not my jewelry yet because it's my mother's. And so how did you eventually? So a yeah. family heirloom. Well, that's nice. Yeah. Right? So it's mom's and you want us to find out uh, an appraisal for mom. Is it marked 14 yeah. karat gold? Are those, it, are those it sapphires? It, yes, they are. Mm -hmm. And it says Kevin. Mm -hmm. Oh. Nine eight five. Okay, it so, says nine eight five, and then fourteen carat after that. Okay, so yeah. it's got a couple of things happening. So, um, okay. 
you have a 14 karat gold piece, and then you have five large. I mean, I would say those are at least seven or eight millimeters. Those pearls are large. And that makes sense for, of course, the Pacific, particularly when you get into places like Hawaii and then into the South Pacific. Uh, mm -hmm. How many of those uh, sapphires are there? Four? Three? three? I think there's three. Yeah, there's three. There's three. Oh, yeah. and Deborah wants to send you some snow. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That would be fun. Um, <laughs> Deborah, of course, uh, we're going to do an unboxing with Deborah at an upcoming um, oh, cool. video. And she's in Illinois, if I got that straight. This particular piece, is it two and a half inches tall? Yes. Dates to mm -hmm. the 1960s, 1950s, 60s. I would go yes. more 60s than 50s. That's a beautiful okay. piece. Um, based on the quality of the pearls, which are cultured mm -hmm. pearls, you know, true, authentic pearls. And then okay. you've got the you've got that nice sort of form. I like mm -hmm. that. What do you look for? You're looking for the geometry next. So you're looking for straight lines next to circles. And that's okay. the geometric element that you're typically seeing, that juxtaposition of the geometric forms that you typically see in the 1950s into the 60s. I also indeed like the blue and the white, right? That contrast mm -hmm. that's so popular of those sapphires. And does the clasp work well? That's what I was going to show you. It's, it's really, I don't know if I can show you, but it's this cool, like, pull down like you have yeah, that's to, right it's like a trombone right basically yes, so exactly. it comes down. that's Looks very perfect. typical of the mid 20th century as well so that's what mm. to look for right okay so what to look for you want to look for those types of sort of it, it's like a little round and you pull it down and then the yes. the pin goes in then you push it back mm -hmm. up and then all of a sudden it's secure so very secure pieces and high quality pieces like that value okay. on that piece just about $300. I would say okay. you might even go as high as $400 based okay. on actual sales records for similar pieces. Now, if I were you in this market, I would hold. I would okay. probably not be ready to resell these pieces in that market for multiple right. reasons. How the market is right now. We're seeing costume jewelry go up and we're seeing mm -hmm. brooches of fine jewelry really stay rather consistent. So you okay. might want to wait a little while if you're thinking about okay. reselling, or maybe you're just going to hold on to it, which would be hopefully what you do because it was right. mom's. Yeah. And then I have a daughter, so it'll go, you know, excellent. On. So, make sure, thank the, you. make sure the kids are, are well aware of how important it is. You got to push yeah. it into their heads. <laughs> yeah. She's watching. IPhone, <laughs> of the day for me, Sharon, iPhone or Android. It's an iPhone. Always, an iPhone. always. Yep. yep, we like our Every, iPhones too. Everything's okay. in there my whole life. Good to see you. <laughs> Thanks for being with me. Thank you. Aloha. It. I know everybody's like, ah, oh, she's got jewelry in Maui. Wow. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. Lots of fun stuff. <clears throat> Uh, thanks to a video about a gold sputman gemstone ring. I instantly recognize a pair of earrings in the Salvation Army jewelry bag with some damage they just sold. Oh, excellent. Excellent, Megan. I'm so happy to hear that. That's right. Actually, there was a Sputnik uh, gemstone um, piece that, that I appraised for a person who found it in a blue box. And I also did a real bargains for it. So thank you. I'm very happy to see it. And this is what I want I want to know about. So tell me about your success stories. This is why I'm doing it. I want to see you succeed. It's not that difficult to do if you watch the videos. What is she saying? She shared the videos and she's watching the videos. And because she was watching that video, she was able to recognize it. I want to teach you how to educate those eyeballs so you can cash in. Good for her. Good for her. That's great. That's going to make my day, even though I didn't get toothpaste at when I was shopping at Costco because it was like all the brands I didn't want. Anyway. Huh, my guests are here. Let's see what they've got. Hello, Dr. Laurie. Hi, how are you? Oh, and then well. we've got some birds and we've got a sculpture. We've got a lot of native sculptures on the wall there. And then we've got this lamp and this necklace. How did you acquire the birds? And they're glass, right? Oh, I got them at a local thrift store that I frequent often because I love it. Okay. Well, I did pay up a little bit. Yeah. So hold it up a little bit higher for me. I like that. I like the birds. People like birds. Do you like birds as a rule? Oh, yeah. I used yeah. to have them. Oh, yeah. I think a lot of people like birds. I have to say that I really like to talk about this necklace over here that came out of the trash. The birds, I think, are cool. Hi. What's your name, hon? Hi. My name is Kara. I'm from Merrimack, New Hampshire. Hi, Kara. So tell me about this piece. Looks like it's a composite piece. 
Um, it's, I'm actually not sure. Um, okay. It's quite long and it has um, green um, bead type objects throughout it. It yeah, does it's have got a name a nice on it. It's got a nice, it's got a nice chain. I really like the box link chain. And then what I'm looking at here looks like uh, the big uh, sort of bulbous form, the pendant at the bottom really looks like it's kind of carved and then shellacked. So, it feels, it feels almost like a glass. Um, yeah. And it is quite shiny. So yeah, it doesn't feel like, doesn't read like stone. It seems no, more I like a composite, so. right? You should be thinking of me every time you go to the thrift store and you can take me with you to the thrift <laughs> store. If you want to do a, a call with me while you're at the thrift store, I'll show, I will not let you miss anything valuable. So this piece goes all the way down, like 30 inches? Yep. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, all right. It does have a name on it. Okay, what's the name? Miriam Haskell. Miriam Haskell, okay. So this piece is a very well-known Miriam Haskell piece, right? A very well-known designer, Miriam Haskell, who made pieces like this. Where is the Miriam Haskell mark on it? Is it there on a tag? A, there's a very small tag on it. There yes, it is. It's up near the class, or actually okay. what, it's near one of the... Got it out of the trash, huh? Yes, he did. <laughs> he did? Well, I'm always sad to hear that that piece made the trash, but I'm happy that your boyfriend fished it out of the trash. So it's 30 inches long. It's a typical Miriam Haskell. It's composite. That means that that particular piece is not glass. That particular piece is made of a composite material, and then it is organic in form. So it dates to, of course, the middle years of the 20th century. At 30 inches long, which is two-toned with those beads, two tones. What I mean by that is it's got that box link, and it also has the composite beads as well as the big pendant. It's got the, the tag indicating Miriam Haskell. Hold on to your hats because value on that one, $425. Whoa. Nice. That's very nice. <laughs> very nice. Based I on actual sales this. records. What'd you say, hon? I may have to wear this. <laughs> you may have to wear it. It definitely has to become yours. Or if you're going to resell it, that's what you have to resell it for. That's a beautiful Wonderful. one. Miriam Haskell, really lovely. And Thank a lot you. of them are like that. And that was a big score. You guys Heck have got yeah. it right. The folks who follow me all over about costume jewelry know that that's a big score out of the that track. Is. Good Thank for you. you. Good for you. 425 on that one. That's a real bargain. <laughs> Perfect. Amazing. Nice to see you. Hey, my question of the day, if you would, uh, iPhone or Android? iPhone all the way. iPhone all the way. Gosh, yeah. Apple, Apple, Apple. Maybe yeah. Apple stock is the thing to do, right? Good to see you. <laughs> you too. Congratulations. Take care. Hey, do something nice for your boyfriend. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Oh, that was fun. That was fun. That was a nice one. And it's nice to have, of course, those brand names. Do I tell you those brand names? Yes. I list many of them for you on my website under my research. So go there and, of course, go to drlaurieb.com and read those research pages. You can also just go to the magnifying glass at the top and search costume jewelry, and you're going to learn all of those types of things. If you want, you want to see videos, you don't want to read the articles, that's fine. Go to the binge link and use that. That'll help you, too. Oh, great things. Lots of great objects tonight. Let's see what else we've got. So, so folks are liking the stuff on the table. We, the, the, the staff, of course, changes out the studio table every once in a while. So I've got some yays and some nays on the scarf and the hair. So, okay. So it looks like we have a couple of glass bowls. Looks like we've got a glass bowl slash ashtray, probably Murano there. This other one doesn't look like it's Murano. This other one's kind of more flowing, uh, looks to be a little bit different there. And then we've got what is probably a Schumacher or an Ulbrich nutcracker is what that looks like. Let's see, let's go with the, hmm. I get, I'd like to go with the nutcracker because my dad collected nutcrackers for a long time and they have gone up and down and up and down with respect to value. But I have to say that, uh, how tall is your nutcracker? It's about uh, 11, 11 inches tall. Okay. Uh, does, it got the, does it have the Schumacher mark on the bottom? I love it when I see all of you doing this because I know that, that that means you're watching the videos. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm sorry, it's Steinbach and it has... Mm -hmm. uh, Oh, the, so it's got mark. all the marks for Steinbach. Okay, great. Yeah. So it's not a Schumacher. It's not an old brick. It's a Steinbach. Nice. Very nice. Okay. I think that's a nice piece. 
but I want to go to this particular uh, glass piece. I want to go to this glass piece that looks like it's blue in the center. Hi, Dr. Hi. Murphy. Hi, what's your name? Susan. Hi, Susan. Where are you calling from? From Los Angeles. How much did you pay for this in Los Angeles? $5.99 at the Goodwill. Nice, nice. Can I see the underside? Murano, okay, Murano, cased glass, uh, late 1960s, early 1970s, of course, an ashtray. I'm guessing it's five by five in terms of inches. I like the blue and I like the uh, the speckled interior of it. Value on it, just about 100. Good. Good, very good. Very good, thank you. Question, you're welcome. Question of the day, iPhone or Android? iPhone everything, iPad. I'm iPhone, iPad, iPhone, everything. And let me ask you this question. Which of my videos are you going to share tonight? All of them. All of them. You could start with this one. Share that sure. you were on with Dr. Lori on your own social media. Show all on, your friends that you were here. I was on last week and I shared that one. Well, share them all. You got to okay. share them so pe other people are learning what's what. Get sharing. You guys are getting lazy. <laughs> Good to see you. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And good to see you. I'm Dr. Lori. I'll see you next time.